Live look outside at Chavis County. Uh, good morning to you down in Roswell. Temperatures cooling off nicely, although a bit on the muggy side. Mid 60s on the board for you. Relative humidity values at 84%. Notice we do have that northwest wind at 10 miles per hour, and we are waking up with those mostly clear skies, rain free skies across the majority of the state. We had a little bit of thunderstorm activity during the wee hours of the morning near Clovis. That is now pushed well off to the east, and we are expecting a few more showers and thunderstorms to develop. As we go into the afternoon and evening hours, really favoring uh, areas north of Interstate 40 where they are expected to be a little bit more scattered in nature. And we could see some of that locally heavy rainfall up in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And that's the reason for this flood watch that will kick in at noon today until 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. Again, that excessive rainfall could lead to flash flooding, especially in and around those burn scar areas. In the meantime, we are waking up on the cool side. Chilly for some of us actually dropping down to 40 degrees in Pagosa Springs now, so certainly grab the jackets. We have the low 40s in Taos, 45 in Raton, the upper 40s to low 50s from Las Vegas to Santa Rosa. Clovis, you're sitting at 58 degrees. We have the low 50s in Ruidoso up towards Sacramento Mountains, 60 degrees in Las Cruces, 55 in Socorro, and we have the middle to upper 40s out to the west in Gallup and Grant. So for the rest of today, we're looking at temperatures warming slightly into the upper 70s to low 80s, a mix of sunshine and clouds. Notice scattered showers and thunderstorms will be favoring the northern tier of the state, and then we'll see a few more isolated showers and thunderstorms along and south of Interstate 40. But by Friday, we do have more of those uh, drier winds moving in, and that's going to allow some drier air to move in, especially across the southwestern sections of the state. So we will see some storms across the northern and eastern portions of the state throughout the afternoon and evening hours, and then those late night East Canyon winds will be developing, especially into early Saturday morning as another backdoor cold front moves in from the north and east. So across the southeast today, temperatures will be heating up into the low 90s in Roswell. Hobbs, you're at 83. We have a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be on the strong to severe uh, strong to severe side. Again, the main threats being some hail and some damaging winds. Las Cruces, we're at 89. Socorro at 84. TRC also in the mid-80s. Up in the four corners, we have 73 in Window Rock. Gallup at 76 and in Grants. Cuba, you're also in the lower half of the 70s keeping in a 40% chance for storms here in Farmington all the way through Friday and then the weekend shaping up to be pretty nice with more sunshine and those drier conditions. We have 78 across the Española Valley, 76 in Santa Fe, scattered storms through about Friday, breezy East Canyon winds late Friday night and into early Saturday morning with just a few hit or miss storms as we go into the weekend. 73 in Las Vegas, Santa Rosa 78 along with Tucumcari and up in the East Mountains, low to mid 70s, Moriarty, Estancia, you're back up to about 78 and in the metro today we have 83 in Berlin 83 in Los Lunas 82 up in Bernalillo up in the foothills and the heights 81 degrees 81 in Rio Rancho with a few isolated showers and thunderstorms through Friday breezy winds first thing Saturday morning 79 here in Albuquerque, a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms drying out over the weekend. Overnight lows will get down into those middle to upper 50s and by Monday and Tuesday of next week, we're back up to 85 degrees.